We're going to take a look now at the evaluation phase of a self and peer assessment. And to do that, you're going to have to locate where the original assignment was given out. So we're starting out in class one. That's where the set first self and peer evaluated assignment was given out. And you would just scroll down until you found that assignment. And there it is right there and make sure that you actually click on the link. That takes you inside the assessment and then you need to scroll down and you'll notice once the submission period ends, you don't see any submission criteria for dates here, but it tells you your evaluation end date. So the evaluation is now live and open and you'll notice that there's a name here. Now this is a self-evaluation so it's got my name here and it tells you the status, it hasn't been started yet, and the number of points that have been allocated for this activity. Now typically when you're doing a self and peer evaluation you will have one or two peers. Typically I like to have you evaluate two of your peers um, and their names would also be included here. So you not only will have to evaluate your own work, you're going to have to evaluate the work of two of your peers. It's very important to do that because it helps to give a more accurate snapshot of the level of everyone's work. So it really is community participation in that regard. Now, to do the evaluation, simply click on the link and you'll notice right off the top that it tells you what the assessment name is, who the submitter of this work was, how many points, and that gives you a little direction there. And it tells you that there's two questions and that there are two tabs for each question. And hopefully, as you move from one question to the other, the submission will be in there. If the submission is not there, it's quite possible that the grading will, will not be activated for that question and you would score less points, obviously. So right off the top, I want to look and see if there's a model response. So I would click on that, and it would give me um, some information there. And it just says the image should be a simple head and shoulder shot, cropped to a square, one-to-one -one ratio, and the face should be easily recognizable. Sometimes this will provide a visual to help you understand what constitutes a successful or good submission. So I'm looking at this submission right now, um, and it's definitely a square one-to-one -one aspect ratio. It's bright enough that you can see the subject. He's so handsome there. Um, you can see him there. There's even a little bit of text here from the submitter, just letting me know what they were doing. Uh, it's always good to give some explanatory text where needed. Um, if something didn't quite work out the way you'd anticipated, or just sharing a little bit of context to the evaluator. So we check the model response. We kind of know what it is we're trying to look at here. Is the quality of the image good? Okay, now you'll notice down here in criteria, there are two things determining whether or not the quality is good. Criteria one is checking the aspect ratio. Is it square? Is it a one-to-one -one format? If yes, then award a point, otherwise score zero. So this is a, an all or none kind of scenario. It's you either allocate the points or you don't. The next thing you have to do is click Save and Next Criteria. So when we click that, we're now on to the next component, Criteria 2. We're still on Question 1 but we're on criteria two. Notice that's active. So the second criteria for quality, it's asking is the quality of the image, like the brightness and resolution, good enough that the face is easily recognizable? If it is, then give two points. If it's not, then give one point and give some feedback. And there's a little field here where you can give some feedback. Um, I'm not being too biased, but I think that guy's not only handsome, that the quality of the image is really good. So I'm going to give the full points. So you can either give two, one, 
or 0. There are no fractional points in this. So I'm going to give the full two points, and then it says save and next question. Before that, it said save and next criteria. Now we move to the next question in the analysis. The question is, has the image been posted as an avatar on Blackboard? Hmm. Well, it's difficult for me to assess this right now. So what I'm going to do is... Um, temporarily at, at least save and submit and I can come back to this but to check to see if this person has posted an avatar or not I'm gonna have to jump out of here so I'm just going to save and submit I'm not gonna give them the points right now but then I'm gonna go over to tools go down to roster and I could put their name in here, but I can just click go as well. It gives me the list of people in the class. There's the person right there. And you'll notice that no avatar has been posted. So this person should not get the points, should actually see their photograph right there. So in this case, if I go back in to activities, back into class one, scroll down until I find that assignment there it is go into the assignment all the way back down to the bottom I can go back in here and I can go to the second question has the image been posted as an avatar in Blackboard no it hasn't so I'm not going to allocate the points here if I'd seen an avatar image there I would have allocated the points. Um, so now it's okay for me to submit this. This person will then score three out of four on their work. And that's how to do an evaluation.